All right, hey guys, Darkovica here. It has been a wild ride all day preparing for me to record this. This is Final Fantasy XIV, and the reason I'm doing this and Elder Scrolls Online is because when I tallied the votes, they were tied. Although after I purchased uh, Final Fantasy XIV and started letting it install, Elder Scrolls Online got one more vote. So technically ESO won, but I'd already purchased this, so bam. Um, I believe there's a 30-day free trial when you do Final Fantasy XIV, but it is monthly. So for those of you who don't have this game, be prepared. There is a monthly fee to continue playing after 30 days. So today, I released a poll because I figured let's let you guys choose what race I get to play in Final Fantasy XIV, because I didn't do that for ESO. It has been just one tie after another. I'm not even joking. Like, literally just one tie after another. Like, at first one race would go further, and then the next, the other, another race would come. Oop, hello. I didn't know it would do that. All right, I'm going to shut up for a second. Just know that they all tied, but at the very last second, Lala fell one. Oh, this is totally different than the other movie that was going to play. I didn't know games still did this. I don't know if I can play this. Some games get really mad when you play like a trailer video. Oh, is this the Heaven Sword one? I don't know. I don't have Heaven Sword, so or Aura, Aura, which is the name of the the Heaven Sword special race that was included. You can see my mouse. Oh well. Wow, that just looks. It just. Everyone's like. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> That is probably heading straight for you. I mean, as long as they hit places where there's no life, I guess it's okay. I'm sure this is going to be bad for the planet's, you know, atmosphere and stuff. Changes the weather and things like that. I need to move the mouse out of this. There's wars going on? What is all this? He looks like Robin Hood. But he got killed, so he can't be Robin Hood. Oh wait, it depends on what story you're reading. <laughs> Which author you're looking at. This means nothing to me. Is this supposed to mean something to me? I'm very... I have no idea what's been going on in the Final Fantasy XIV universe, so... Obviously, it's been out for a while. So if this is story related to, like, previous arcs or something... Oh, that... I don't know who that is! That's the Soldier of Light. There's always one. Rude. Just murdered those people in cold blood, yo. These guys have faces and aren't wearing armor. That means they must be good. Alright. Let's skip this. Great. Thank you. Uh, there is an opening movie, but because I'm specifically doing 15 minute stints in this, we're just going to go ahead and skip all movies. We're going to go with... I think I was going to... Yeah, I was going to go with Aether. Data center because I like the fairy one or the ball mung one. Woo, that got really loud all of a sudden. Very suddenly. Um, alright, so before like that last vote came in, I actually went into C and made a program to randomly choose one of the three races that had tied. I was pretty surprised at the fact that, um, I, I well, I was just surprised that the one that I thought was going to win didn't. And that was the cat people. I was so certain that the cat people were going to win and they didn't. It was actually the Lalafell that ended up winning. But cat people were last, like dead last. All right, so let's go over these races because I had a good kick trying to pronounce these earlier today. This is, uh, this is Hyrule. Eleven. Falafel. Mosquito. With cat ears. And, uh, Bro Gaiden. <laughs> That's what these races are. We got Hyrule, Eleven, Falafel, Mosquito with cat ears, and Bro Gaiden. Yep, that's it. It's beautiful. Bro Gaiden. And then the or Aura, which I can't even see because I don't have the, the DLC, which I might get if I like this, but I don't know if I do yet. So fala Falafel, yep. It's canon. They're just Falafel. Falafel 1. So we're going to be playing as the Lalafell. A wee people sporting short, rotund bodies, the Lalafell, the Falafel, appear as no more than children to the eyes of most. Many of these nimble little folk hail from the islands of the South Seas where they practice a simple agricultural lifestyle. 
It was not until the opening of maritime trade routes that the gradual migration of Lalafels to Eorz... Alright, hang on. Eorzea. Eorzi? Eorza. Began. Now one of the most well-established races in the realm, Lalafels can be found in great numbers in nearly every city. Though Lalafelin culture places great emphasis on blood relations, individuals are known for getting along amicably with members of all races. Fascinating. Environment? Oh, I see. I can choose what environment it shows my character. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. She just looked really cute in this environment for some reason. I'm not 100% certain why. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and create this character because if if I create this character in the video, that will literally be the 15 minute episode. Is me creating a character, so I'll be right back. Oh, crud. Okay, before it throws me in, I have created my character. This is Mariani Nani, and before you make fun of me, I actually went online and I looked up naming conventions for uh, Lalafell, so that was that was cl as close to Marion as I could get it. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a Robin Hood nut job. Um, <laughs> like really, I'm obsessed with Robin Hood. So I made her Mariani Nani, and I guess that's like the rhyming version. But they said, oh, she's a a Dunes, a Dunes folk. Arcanist Lalafell, and so I, I went with the Dunes Folk female naming convention, which is really complicated to explain, so I won't even bother. But, um, so there it was originally going to be Marani, Marani Nani, but I thought that sounded dumb, so Mariani Nani sounds better, even though the Nani part sounds kind of weird. Oh well, I don't know. I went with it, I rolled with it. I do research, yo. Oops. I, I woke up my mouse. <laughs> it's like, where's my mouse? Then I regretted doing that. Look how cute she is. She's an adorable little Lollafell. And she's falling. This is how we die. I forgot what the god yeah. is that I chose, but I essentially accidentally chose my birthday. I know that sounds really weird, but I legitimately did accidentally choose my real life birthday as her birthday. Yeah. When I realized it, I was like, I'm not gonna fix it. I'm gonna leave it. This is hilarious. She's like, where is this coming from? I'm angry. They're d okay, so she's a dunes folk and dunes folk have like, like a lens over their eyes because I guess they're used to living in really hot, arid temperatures. I don't know what's happening, by the way. This is all brand new to me. Oh, that's bad. That is definitely bad. And uh, I would stop walking towards it, small, adorable child. Why would you want to hurt that? Why would you want to hurt a Lalafell? <laughs> I'm angry by this. Think. Now the female voice sounds angry and upset. Maybe not. Yep, this is a normal dream. I have dreams like this all the- Oh! My class! My job! Oh, she looks adorable. Oh, we're just gonna bash him with a book. <laughs> Could you imagine? Summons this magical book, doesn't know what to do with it, throws it at his face. Oh, this is ex exciting and epic. What is this craziness? Smack! Whoops! <laughs> Wax him with a book. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hysterical. Just like whack. It's like running at her. She's like, I don't know what to do with this. Whack. I did that once. I was walking down a very questionable street. I had a large Dungeons and Dragons book that I was wielding like a club. It was pretty good. Oi, y'all. I'm not even going to try to do this accent. I know I'm going to do it wrong. He said, y'all right. Y'all. Y'all. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I tried. You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling of the ship got your stomach churning, has it? That's about as close as we're gonna get. <laughs> some accents I can do, some I can't. Hmm. Don't seem like seasickness now that I look at you. I'll be. It'll be the aether then, I reckon. Y yes. Sure. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others see. And we ain't too far from Vilbrand now, which is chock full of aetherets. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Whatever you say. <laughs> you don't even look used to it, sir. 
Also, you sound like you've got water in your boots. Ugh. Might as well have been bloomin' sea sickness. Ships leaping around like a demented chocobo today. That's literally as close as I'm gonna get to a proper accent. I reckon I might head out on deck, get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsa Lominsa's still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how's about you keep me company till we get there? I can probably do that. Them young'uns don't care much for conversation, see. And I look like I do. Any road, Brennan's the name and Pedlin's my trade. Again, your boots sound like they have water in them. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna warn you about that. Ooh. This music's pretty. This boat's pretty epic. <clears throat> I have this on the highest graphics, so we'll find out if OBS has a fit after I finish recording this. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's adorable. Look at her little boots and her stomping. Oh my, I love it. Ah, smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, last judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you're one of them new adventurers. Come up warm. She's like, yeah, sure, whatever. I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business, these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? To oh, hey! Why did you become an adventurer? To win glory. I don't know if this means anything. To win glory. Glory, eh? Well, if you're willing to take on them tasks as other folk ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive, bleh, when you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurer's Guild. You can find everything you need to know about the adventuring business in there. Just remember, though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. I think I'm doing alright. It's, it's an accent that's coming on. Doesn't sound terrible. Bad, but not terrible. She's like, oh, look out! There's a thing! Wah! Oh, that seems natural. Why has everybody got axes? He looks seasick and green. Ships off the starboard bow! Pirate colors! Pirates! I am tiny and adorable. I'm so happy. Pirates, bloody hells. Have you no sense? Get below! <laughs> She's like booking it. <laughs> he just sits there and points for like 10 minutes and then gets up and runs off. Pirates! I can probably do something about that. Oh, we're all just chilling in here, aren't we? We're all gonna die if we just sit in here. I'm just gonna put that up there. What is the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship flying Lomins in colors. Bastards either have a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. Up. Uh. You can rest easy, friends. We've made it out of cannon range, and no buccaneer bark will catch this flighty temptress. Temptress, once the wind's in her sails. I'd add, like, deepness to my voice, but I'm having difficulty hanging on to the accent. So it's like, if I do anything extra, I feel like I'm just gonna lose it. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept her head on her shoulders. I've re I, uh, I reckon I'd have lost mine otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? It's a fun accent, I'll give it that. Even if it is bad. Hey, we made it! No pirates killed us! Neat! I think in the original Final Fantasy XIV, you had to do like a battle there. And I remember watching the Yogg's cast play it, and they played a character that didn't have a weapon, and so they had to kill stuff by throwing rocks at it, and it was just really bad. By the by, is this your first trip to Lim Limsa Lominsa? Yes. Yes, it is. It is? Well, then let this dirty itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Ahem. <clears throat> Limsa Lominsa prides itself on being Yorsa's foremost naval power. Power. Whatever. Weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current admiral's civil oh God. civilizing influence, the city-state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess she was once a rum-swilling buccaneer herself. 
course, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with, like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that and it and if that weren't bad enough, I've heard this. That's an Irish word, and I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, and I'm not gonna say it. A red in the coast, just as bold as you please. Them are the sea dwelling beasts, men the locals call fishbacks, case you didn't know. Ah, man, case you didn't know. I'm getting a little too close to a different accent here. Ah, at long last, land ho. <laughs> it's just like, land ho. That's good. Land ho. Behold, Limsa Lominsa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Lemelin, goddess of navigation. I'm just, it's going in the wrong direction. I lost it. I lost the accent. It's gone forever. I was trying to make it better and it, I got, I went into Jamaican. It's gone forever. Limsa <laughs> Lominsa. I'm sorry. It's so bad. I had it. I was like right on the cusp of a real accent and then it was gone. It just trickled away. It was just <laughs> gone. On a windswept aisle in the southwestern corner of the realm. I'm so glad somebody took over. Amidst the roiling waves of the Lotano Sea lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Lominsa. Oh good. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Are we talking about me? I'm assuming so. It's good music. <laughs> I'm a sucker for good music. Alone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. Oh, I picked the wrong deity in place then. <laughs> what realm shaking fate has she described in the churning waters of this mortal's future? Why are you asking me? I don't know. I know nothing about this. This is a cool intro. Oh, look how adorable she is. You sweet thing. Look at that. Look at that cute face. <laughs> that tiny sigh. <laughs> And here's where we part ways, lass. Everybody's squeaking all over the place. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by way of thanks of saving me arse earlier. Oh my god, she's so cute. Look at her face. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. I can do that. That's almost the inter- He's smiling so big, his eyes were pretty much shut. It was pretty goofy. Through peril He's and like, hardship, be a good, be a famous fire. person. May the navigator guide this brave soul on a Just walks voyage. off. Till sea swallows all. <laughs> Okay. Here is the lone adventurer who is not alone because she has gained the attention of the god of this place. Till the sea swallows all. <laughs> it was just so randomly angry. <laughs> it's like this hopeful sounding introduction. Welcome to this game, young adventurer. But until you die. <laughs> it's just really awkward. Ah, oh, yes. The crystal. The lone thing that has to be in every Final Fantasy game. Look at her little waddle. It's adorable. Let me just waddle in here. Oh, I love this music. I picked the right place. This music reminds me of Treasure Planet, which is by far my favorite movie in the entire universe. I love Treasure Planet. Hey, you there. Man, this is the introduction episode, I guess. I, I mean you, this is my district, and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. Well, you're rude. <laughs> ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Get out my face. <laughs> Allow one of Limsa Lominsa's finest to set you on the right path. After he called me scum? 
That's so rude. Hop to it, lass. I haven't got all day. Oh, well then. Rude! Alright, I think I... Yeah, we're in. Alright. So, I'm gonna leave this episode here because I need to go do laundry and I just wanted to get this out today for the end of the day, even though it's probably already tomorrow for half of you. This episode was a little longer, but m almost all episodes of these MMOs that I'm playing right now are going to be 15 minutes each, unless I get distracted, which is very likely. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Final Fantasy XIV, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!